We're all in the low to mid 60s, it's 63 in Bloomington Normal, 64 degrees in Peoria. We have a line of showers just entering our western counties. So Knox County, you're waking up to some wet weather along with Fulton County. We expect rain chances through the morning to be mostly for those west of the Illinois River. As we get closer to lunchtime, the rain gets closer to the Illinois River and showers will continue to spread east through the afternoon and the evening. So scattered shower activity will be likely throughout the day today, mixing in some pockets of dry time. Then overnight tonight, we also are favored to be more on the drier side. In terms of highs today, we're going to climb into the upper 60s, right about near 70 in spots. This is mostly thanks to a steady breeze from the south that will be gusting at times up to 25 miles per hour, so continuing to drive in the warmer air. We stay in the low 70s for your Friday, but that comes with a chance of storms. That will actually be a cold front that will cool us down for the weekend. That's why we fall into the low 50s on Saturday and then into the mid 40s on Sunday. And of course, we have more rain chances over the next couple of days. Now, like I said, tomorrow's rain chances thanks to a cold front. As it approaches, we can't rule out a few showers in the morning, but it looks like most of the rain will come with that cold front. Some scattered showers, some scattered thunderstorms throughout the late morning through the mid to late afternoon tomorrow. So right in the middle of the day, we'll keep shower chances east of the Illinois River through your Friday evening, then overnight Friday into much of Saturday we're favored to be dry, but then Saturday evening we expect another system to work through. Widespread showers will be likely overnight Saturday into your Sunday, then likely for the second half of Sunday rain will be lighter, kind of tapering off as the day goes on. Now looking into next week, we are favored, as you know, to be much colder. Our lows are, or highs are going to be into the low 40s, so that means it's going to be a a cold Halloween, at least with most of the cooler temperatures, we are favored to be on the drier side of things with a gradual warm up as we head into the end of our work week. However, it's still going to be below average. Now, lows as well will be very cold. Most of our lows will be in the mid to upper 20s, so our first freeze will be likely when you wake up out of bed to head to work on Monday morning. So make sure you guys have your jackets, your scarves, and whatever you need to stay warm as you head out the door in the beginning of next week. Now, California's Death Valley is the hottest place.